We are in front of the beautiful home of designer Shala Deriz. We are about to see her garden fashion show for her 2022 line. I can't wait to see it. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Sarah Grace Lee. We are getting ready for the garden fashion show for Shala Duri's Spring 2022. Her designs are so vibrant, rich with her heritage in textiles and her ethnic background. So I'm so excited to see it. It is perfect right now. The weather is beautiful. We are actually at her house, her beautiful garden. Some of the models are getting ready. We will be interviewing a few of them as well as her many amazing guests. I am so excited. I hope you are. I'm with Paris, who's one of the models for today. Paris, can you tell us what are you looking forward to most about today's fashion show? Um, as always, Shala always has some of the most beautiful pieces and designs I've ever seen. Um, this is one of like the third shows I've modeled with her. and. Every time I'm just amazed at the beautiful things she creates and it's an honor to be in her home today. <laughs> I'm with Mata right now who is absolutely gorgeous. Mata, do you do a lot of these fashion shows? No, first time. <laughs> wow. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got to be working with uh, Shala? Sure. Um, so she made a few dresses for my sister's wedding uh, for me and my mom. And the first day we came to her house, she just had a bunch of food out for us, treated us like family. It was just so warm and welcoming. That's so sweet. Thank you so much for talking to us. I can't wait to see you walk down that, that runway. <laughs> Miss Nadia Serpush, you look beautiful today. Can you tell us what is the theme for the makeup looks tonight? Yeah, today is uh, Glamour the theme for uh, red carpet and black tie. Thank you so much for talking thank with us. You, thank you, thank you for you, my guest. I am with the multi-talented Brianna, actress, model, singer, all of that. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing the past month? Yeah, well, thank you. You look amazing. Thank oh my gosh, you. I love that dress. Um, so a couple of things I've been doing this month is I've actually just came back from New York Fashion Week, which is really amazing. That was my first runway show and I walked for Kevin Demore and a couple more designers. So it was really, really cool and it was an amazing experience. So I, I had a lot of fun. Can you tell us a little bit about your music and what we can look forward to? What kind of style? Yeah, so I recently shot a music video for my first song that is going to be coming out in the middle of October and it is with this music producer, um, his name is Latroit. so his kind of vibe is a little bit of a like EDM kind of super chill vibe and I kind of collabed with him with my voice and what he wanted to produce so I'm just really excited for you guys to hear that and he's a really good family friend of ours so it's it's a really good experience yeah I can't wait how about for this fashion show is there something that you're what is the biggest thing you're looking forward to um at each fashion show, I'm always looking forward to like the experience and meeting like new people and new designers, obviously. Um, so just I'm looking forward to just wearing her amazing clothes and I haven't really done a fashion show like on a pool, so like that's really cool to do and just mingle with everyone. So I'm just really excited to be here. Thank you so much, Brianna. Thank I'm so, so excited to see you. You're gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm with Miriam, who collaborates with Shala on some of her pieces. Can you tell us about this look that you're wearing, Miriam? Yeah, so this piece, um, I guess let me tell you a little bit. Um, back in 2018, I was um, kind of spearheading a fashion show for this um, nonprofit organization that I'm a part of called the Farhang Foundation. 
whose mission is to promote Iranian art and culture for the benefit of the community at large. And so I was kind of scouting for designers, like Iranian designers that kind of incorporate, you know, the Iranian culture in their designs. And I had met her years back um, when I did a fashion show myself. And so I reached out to her and, you know, went to her boutique. One thing led to another. She found out that I'm an artist, that I paint. And she said, hey, I've collaborated with artists in the, pa in the past. Like, maybe we could do something together. And so we just started, and then now we have a few pieces, a collection um, with um, this phoenix bird called the Seymour, wow. which is a bird from um, the, the stories of um, this Iranian poet called Attar, the Conference of the Birds. Wow. And so I could show you the design. Yes, please. <laughs> so this was like, I just came up wow. with a sketch and I hand painted it. And you could see, like, a, I can't tell which direction, but one side of it, one of the feathers, um, is actually Iranian calligraphy. It spells out the name of the bird, Seymour, but in Iranian calligraphy. That is beautiful, and that artistry. Sala Doris came up um, with this design, which is pretty epic. We did it initially for the singer that was going to perform at wow. a gala, um, and now we're going to show it off. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much, Miriam. You, you look gorgeous. Thank you. We are here with Jessica Bunovich, and she has a podcast that she can share with us. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I have a podcast. It's actually only for women. It's a show for women by women. It's called The Polish Woman. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but no, sometimes I, I, you know, sometimes maybe like once a year I get a guy guest, a male guest, but then it's really solely for women. It's, you know, about like their problems, you know, like it's an inspirational sort of uh, very encouraging, empowering you know, show for women. So I love it. I love doing it. It's every Mondays at 1 p.m. on LA Talk Radio. Definitely want to catch on that and see and listen to all her stuff. Yeah, and there will be more, um, a lot more happening, you know, with myself, with Brianna, my daughter, and then, of course, the whole family. But, you know, I can't really talk about it, but it will be coming soon. 2022 Ooh. is our year. <laughs> so many surprises. Yeah. I am with Michael and Michelle Burke, producers of shows like Baywatch. Can you tell us, how do you know Shala? Shala has been a dear, dear friend. And I always know I can call on Shala, whether I'm going to the Oscars or the Grammys, or I have a charity event, which is why I'm wearing this dress. It was created for me for the IAPF Foundation, which advises the United Nations to stop poaching of elephants and our endangered species. And there's an elephant right there. So she's the best. She's like, honey, whatever you need, I will make it for you. And obviously it's a pretty spectacular dress. She looks gorgeous, doesn't she? What do you have to say about this new look on your wife? Well, you know, it's it's great to combine fashion with with a message. And, uh, you know, we're big believers and supporters in saving this planet. Um, our latest project is actually an animated show that deals with the environment, uh, starring Pamela Anderson, wow. who we discovered for Baywatch and cast her in Baywatch. And she's, you know, so devoted to saving the planet, animal rights and environmental issues. So we're doing an animated show with uh, uh, sailing the seven seas, and trying to save the oceans and sea life. And we're, we're hoping to do our share through entertainment to save the planet. You know, people don't know the Baywatch uh, won so many environmental awards. We're known kind of as our, uh, you know, for our beautiful lifeguards but the fact is if you ever look at, on a curb where there's the gutters and you see a big sign that says no dumping drains the ocean with a picture of a dolphin i invented that for a baywatch episode where the lifeguards go out and paint those on the on the on the curbs and now they're you know international worldwide so so maybe Shala will help us design some awesome interesting looks for our animated series some cool mermaids or some very yeah. ethereal sea creatures with her expertise, style, and design. And we're so happy to be here supporting her. 
Thank you so much. You guys are so inspiring. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Melissa, Hi. I know you are so busy doing so many things. Can you tell us a little bit about your role here and everything that you've been doing? Yes, absolutely. It'd be a pleasure. My name's Melissa Simpson, and Shala has hired me to be the creative director for the day, which means I'm in charge of choreographing all the girls in their outfits and getting them all sewn in and getting their hair and putting everything together to create an amazing fashion show today. And uh, we have the uh, wonderful Mary, who is a genius with the needle and thread, who's helping me today. And uh, we're all pitching in to make this a great show. So yeah, we're all excited. I am so excited from what I've seen, the colors, the patterns, the textiles, everything is so beautiful. It's a lot of fun because we're mixing and matching a lot of textures and a lot of color and then um, embellishing the hair. So it's really, this is a really beautiful fantasy um, showpiece fashion show. It's perfect garden show and uh, it's, it, it's really going to be a lot of fun. We're very excited about it. Thank you so much. I know you're busy. I'll let you get back to work, but thank you so much. Thank you. I am with the legendary Short Agdashlu. I am. She did such a good job. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, thank you, thank you. Hopefully, it's the Filipino accent helping me. <laughs> oh my God, that's it's a gorgeous accent. I love it. But you pronounced my name so well. I felt like I was with my family. So, Shore oh. Agdashlu, thank you. I love that. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thanks. So, how has a star like you come to grace our presence today? What is bringing you here? Such an honor and pleasure to be here today for Shalo. Shalo and I have been friends for four decades. And I've been wearing her outfits for almost three decades now. And I just couldn't leave her alone. You know, I had to barge in and say, Shalo, let me wear one of your dresses and walk for you. And she said, you would do that for me? I said, by all means, would love to do that. I'm just a humble actor. <laughs> wow, wow. I've seen some of your uh, print on magazines wearing her designs. What are some of your favorite things about her designs? What I love about her design is they're very artistic, out of the box, different, and the way she puts uh, different fabrics together and add that Eastern element to her outfits, to her costumes. Uh, it's really like East meets West. Every time I wear her dresses, her outfits, I go to parties or events, people are like, wow, this is so incredible. Is this kind of Eastern fashion? And I keep saying, well, this Iranian designer, Shala Doris, have combined the two together and has managed to come up with amazing, amazing designs that brings both to us, the Western fashion and the Eastern culture. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. It really is an honor meeting you. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure. You're so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm Gorgeous. I'm blushing now. <laughs> the one with black eyes. Oh. I had not seen that before. Oh. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Hi, Miss Shala. How are you? Hi, how are you? Can you tell us a little bit about your inspiration for the designs for this line? Mm. Yes, um, the inspiration is all about vintage fabric and I design uh, one of a kind pieces. The fabrics are like either painted or uh, you know, uh, one of a kind painting and also the old like 200 years of fabrics that I mix it with a new one. So this is my, you know, Beautiful. yeah. We are so blessed to get to see Shala's home. It is beautiful. Everywhere are displayed some of her work, some of her textiles. Right now, we are setting the stage for the models. They will be starting their runway walk up here where you can look out into the crowd, into her beautiful garden, and they're gonna walk down these steps and go around the pool.
Shor, how do you feel about the fashion show? You were brilliant, by the way. Thank you so much. You're so kind. I loved it. This new line of hers is amazing. More than ever. A uh, mixture of uh, East and West, where they meet here at Charlotte's Ranch, Charlotte Dory's Ranch. She's done an amazing job. I love the uh, combination of um, Iranian fabric, Persian fabric. Some of them are as old as 200, 250 years old. The one that I wore, the skirt, is called Jojim, and it's almost 250 years old, the fabric. But guess what? The uh, sleeves, the puffy sleeves, they come from Marche aux Pousses in Paris. In Paris. She bought them last year. Beautiful, beautiful. This is, this is Charlotte Doris. <laughs> Miss Shala, how do you feel about the fashion show? It was gorgeous. Thank you so much. This was always my dream to do a fashion show inside my ranch that, you know, uh, on the garden, walking around the grass and everything. So I did it. It's all inspiring by the colors of neon colors and everything. So I'm so happy that we did this. And uh, yeah, it's all inspiring of the old fabric and new fabric combined it together. So this is what it is. Congratulations, it was absolutely breathtaking. Cheers, you guys. I am about to try their Persian drink. They said it was water, sugar, cucumber, mint, and obviously some lemon. So let's try it. Mm. Wow, so refreshing. If you get a chance, you definitely need to try this. Cheers. Oh, I'm a 